the base of your toothbrush, football cleats, the end beads for your guitar strings. All of these things are made with careful precision and craftsmanship. But do you know where they actually come from? Tool and die makers are responsible for building the tool that manufacturers use to produce all of those things. And as you can probably guess, it takes a very skilled operator to run a tool and die machine. The tool or die can be made from various grades of metal, and some will be used thousands of times before a new tool is needed. But don't let me do all the talking. Today we sat down with Josh. He starts every workday around 6 a.m. and typically works 8 to 10 hour days. Start out with, we take a look at the new tooling, it's such uh, how much we have available that needs grinding, take out a wire, blasting, all sorts of different, different uh, jobs that go into making the indiv individual pieces. And so a lot of it kind of depends on the workload. The training to become a tool and die maker can range, mostly depending on the company. What they're really looking for are workers who are ready to learn. And that's where the apprenticeship comes in. Working in an apprenticeship gives you the opportunity to gain on-the-job experience because you're learning how to do the job by basically doing the job. This is one of the reasons an apprenticeship is great if you're a hands-on learner. An average apprenticeship can take four to five years and it includes all the instruction you'll need to perform the job as well as compensation. So you're getting paid to learn. It's kind of on the cutting edge of a lot of technologies that we see first before the public sees everything. You know, plus uh, we feel like we're kind of playing a small part in the economy. And, and it's awesome, there's plenty of room for growth. Some of the challenges I would say um, would be some of the lack of communication in terms of our day-to-day -day activities. You know, um, a lot of the work that we do is based off of a file or a print, and if we are missing some of those fine details, we gotta investigate, you know, to, to get those, that information to get our job completed. It's an excellent trade to get into because you really feel like you're learning every day and that you're giving back, you know, to the economy as a whole. But also it's something that you can pass along to even, you know, your children in the future. And this industry is always looking for new workers to fill positions. In fact, tool and die making is actually picking up meaning tool and die operators are in high demand. So whether you like working with your hands or you just don't think college is right for you, tool and die making could be a great option for you and your future. I think it would be great to add to the workers that we already have because a lot of people are moving on as well. You know, some of the older workers are, you know, they retire and such, so we kind of need to replenish the pool. My father-in-law has also been in the trade for many years. So that played a little factor for me. Um, he's been with the same company for 40 some years. So that job stability is very important to me. You know, and once you know this trade and you know, you're, you're learning this trade, you're going to always have a job. You know, like I'm, my only regret is not getting started sooner as in right after school myself, you know, because uh, the future is very bright in this trade. Get started, the sooner the better. You know, like I said, my only regret is joining this trade um, a, little, a little later. You know, um, I wish I would have joined right after high school, you know, um, especially a company like this.